All right, I had a, uh, a viewer comment on a video I did really a long time ago now, and I finally got around to, to, to doing his suggestion, which, which made perfect sense to me at the time, and I thought, yeah, that'd be a perfect way to do it, and then I never did it. So um, if, if, the viewers, if the viewers listening, I did listen to you, it was a great idea, I'm doing it now, I'm hoping you watch this video, okay? And it had to do with this red cable. And the reason I'm doing the video now is because somebody asked me about the red cable. Somebody actually watches old videos. <laughs> I, have, I have over, I don't know, I have about 800 videos now and people, you know, people don't even know that, you know, 700 of them exist probably. Anyway, um, I had this red cable that I thought at the time was this really nice high quality 50 ohm cable. And I later learned that, no, it's not. It's not, it's very high quality, that's for sure. Absolutely high quality, but it's not 50 ohms. And I didn't really know what it was. Um, this is a nice, very high quality. This is a Sumner, Sumner? Yeah, Sumner um, 50 ohm cable, very, very high quality. Uh, this is, there's a, there's a particular, particular name on them. Uh, here, here it is, Let's see if I can read it here. Uh, Sooner uh, Envi Enviroplex. Anyway, this is very, very expensive cable. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, he said, I, I was trying to measure the uh, impedance of this cable. He says, oh, it's really, really easy. You just put a resistor at the end. <laughs> and I go, oh yeah, that would be really stupid, wouldn't it? So I've done that before. One of the ways you know what the resistance, what the impedances of the cable is to send a signal down it and then put a resistor at the end and maximize the voltage at the end. You, you adjust, the, uh, adjust the resistor here so you're getting maximum transmission. Uh, so I've done that. I think I've done, I've done that on video before. I've just never done it with a VNA um, and especially an SMA. So I made, I made this. So you can make one of these too. <laughs> uh, so all it is uh, is a connector and, and, a, and a resistor. And it's a, it's a variable resistor, right? It's a potentiometer. Um, this one is a 500 ohm, so I can go from zero to 500 ohms. So that's kind of in the, in the range of cables that I think I will end up with. And it's just between the center pin and the outside pin. So, you know, no need for a schematic. It's just a resistor at the end of a connector. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the camera set up so there's no glare and everything. Just a second. All right, I think that's pretty good. Here's a Smith chart. Um, I am going to limit the frequency range from zero to 30 megahertz, okay? So we're gonna go from zero, zero to 30 megahertz and we're gonna put on uh, one of the cables. We'll put on the 50 ohm cable, right? And the 50 ohm cable uh, starts going around the Smith chart because it's adding electrical length, right? So it's following, following the Smith chart because it's not terminated. It, it gets reflected back and it's on its way here to uh, a quarter wave. And then as it goes all the way around, it gets to a half wave. So all the way around the Smith chart is half a wave, not a full wave, but half a wave. So this is a quarter wave over here. This is a open and that's a short. All right. So um, if we take a calibration standard, okay, and we put that at the end of the end of the connector, you see that we're right here in the center, right at 50 ohms. And so that's good. And remember that the line is real uh, reactance and you have imaginary uh, capacitance on the top of inductance on or inductance on top, capacitance, I forget which way, uh, plus I think it's capacitance on top, inductance on the bottom. I think that's right. Anyway, um, all right. So let, let's uh, go ahead and use a, uh, a, a resistor and we will connect that up. And let's see what that does. Okay, well, it's showing us way down over here, right? That's like, well, that's not right. Well, we haven't adjusted the resistor yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, twiddle the resistor. That's the technical term, twiddling. And uh, as I move it, it goes towards the center and then it goes off to the other side, okay? So that's, that's sort of near over there and this is sort of near over here so this is kind of like 500 ohms here and this is kind of like a short over here okay and so if we go in between somewhere we should end up around 50 ohms and so if we get twiddle it just right i think dave always says you have to have your tongue at the right angle all right so 
Uh, so there we are. And we can read, if, I don't know if you can read it, but right there it says 50 ohms. Uh, so we can read the value right off the chart with the center and it says 50 ohms. Okay, great. That works good. All right, so let's do it with our, our red cable, the mystery red cable. The red cable has Americon connectors on it. And I don't know what that means, but I think they're a manufacturer of high quality cables or high quality connectors, at least. I don't know if they did the cable or not. Okay, so now we have uh, our, oops, oh dear. We have a dead V8, no. <laughs> All right, uh, these things are kind of stiffs. So. Okay, so there is our cable and it looks kind of the same. It's just an open. And let's screw on our little uh, test uh, test resistor here. Oops. All right. So oh, this cable is fighting me. All right. All right. So there we go. Okay. So now, can is that still on the camera? I'm sorry. Great video. Look at that high quality production here. All right, so uh, we're kind of at 50 ohms for DC, but everything else is off. So let's adjust the resistor here. Let's go all the way to one end. We'll go way over here and it kind of looks that away. And then we'll go all the way to the other side and kind of looks like that way. So it kind of looks the same thing, right? And so you say, okay, we're going to tweak it until you get to the center. No, we're not going to tweak it till we get to the center because the center is 50 ohms. And you can see if we tweak it down here, we still have, we still have some uh, little, little lead there. So if we keep adjusting it until it, it adjusts to a spot, okay? If we go too far, it's going to go down on the bottom. So we don't, we don't want anything on the bottom and we don't want anything on the top. We want something that's just kind of a little point, okay? Just kind of a tiny little point. And it seems to be happening somewhere around, right around maybe 87 ohms. So maybe it's a 90 ohm cable. You can also do another thing. You could turn on the, um, turn on the return loss. Let's turn that on. And we can adjust it for flat return loss. If we go too high, uh, that's not quite right. Let's see here. If we go here to, is this helping? Is this helping or not? No, I don't think the, uh, I don't think this is really helping much. All right, let's turn that off. I think what you really want to do is you want to reduce that to zero. Now, I don't know how to uh, make the scale of the Smith chart any different, but we can take a look at, at, uh, at the top here. We can say, um, as we go up, um, and we can change the marker. Let's change the marker. So at the, or at the other end, that would be better. Now the other end says we've got 109, 190 picofarads. So, so, uh, capacitance is down. And if we go the other direction, it says that we have 75 nanohenry. So inductance is on the, uh, so we, what we want to do is we want to take the second number. That's the imaginary part, right? This is the real part. That's the imaginary part. We we'll want to get that to as close to zero as we can. Okay. So there's one nano. Now we go to picos. That's not good. Now we're farads again. Now we're farads. There is, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, now we're Henry's, 21 nano Henry's, 18, 17 nano Henry's, 12 nano Henry's, eight. Now we went to farads, three nano farads. I'm gonna go the other direction. the best. Now we're in Henry's again. So somewhere around in there. So right around 88 ohms uh, is where we get the, uh, sorry about the glares here. Um, 88 ohms is about where we get the minimum uh, reactance or the minimum um, imaginary part. We get the real part here. So I claim this cable is 88 ohms maybe. 
uh, maybe 90 ohms. I don't know, maybe it's 88 ohms. It looks like it's kind of testing out there. So anyway, uh, it's a very, very simple a bit of test gear to build. It uh, didn't cost me anything. I already had all the parts. So um, there you go. Build yourself a little, uh, a little resistor and you can test out weird cables.